Hey Lorraine here and I've got a few tips for you for planning your Run Disney race day costume. So I've been a princess three times and taken on the Princess Half Marathon, but I have yet to do any other Run Disney races. So I'm super excited because I am going down to Florida in November to do the Wine and Dine, and I am headed out to LA in January to run the Tinkerbell Half Marathon. So I have Run Disney race day outfit costume all on my brain. I mean, that's a big part of the fun of running run Disney is that you get to get dressed up. You get to be a princess or a mouse or any of the Disney characters. You can be whatever you want and like not look foolish because everybody's dressing up and it's just a, a fun, fun thing to do. But there are some things that you need to consider when you're planning your outfit. So the first thing is comfort. Can you run in it? Okay, so you gotta remember <laughs> You are running a race here. If you put on a costume and you can't get to the first mile marker, you gotta rethink things. You don't wanna get out there and you are ditching your tutu by mile two, okay? You'll be really mad. So think about comfort, think about can you run in it? Okay, the second thing is can you pack it? Hello, so you've got this fabulous costume, you look great, it's awesome. You spent a whole lot of time, put a whole lot of energy into it and then you can't fit it in your carry-on luggage or you're driving with six other princesses and all of their luggage and there is no room for your giant tutu. That could be a problem. You got to think about those things ahead of time so when you're creating your masterpiece and you're going to look beautiful, I'm sure, you know that you can get it there. You got to think about packing it, whether you're flying, driving, however you're getting there. Think about what bag you're putting it in, are you carrying it on, Do you, can you fold it, all of those kind of things. Okay, so the third thing is cost. Can you afford it? It's easy to get caught up in all the fun and the costume and the magic and the pixie dust and it's Disney and it's great, right? But before you know it, you could be creating a costume and you're just grabbing this here and grabbing that here or maybe you're going to make something on your own. I've done that where I'm like, I'm going to make this instead and save money and I've ended up like spending twice as much as if I would have just bought the thing in, in the first place already made. So you have to think about the cost of what you're trying to do because it's so easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of all the fun and then you have spent your kids souvenir money and they're not coming home with any Disney ears because you're wearing it for race day, okay? So think about how much money you're putting in to your costume. So hopefully these three things have been helpful. If so, make sure to like the video, make sure to follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what have you been when you've run Disney. All right, until next time.